What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the official Q Beta 3 GSI on our Redmi Note 7 Pro. So this is the official GSI provided by the Google and it hasn't been retouched at all. This hasn't been ported. So if you're wondering how is it working on a Redmi device cause Redmi's are a only partition. Well, this is a Redmi Note 7 Pro as you can see and this is a system as root phone. So it's not as completely as a AB partition phone or a seamless partition phone cause Xiaomi hardly uses that technology but still this phone is a system as root phone so it actually takes AVGSS not just a only partition despite of it being a, a only partition phone so it's actually a bit confusing but here you go here is the official GSI completely working over here and there are quite a lot of bugs to be honest as this is a MIUI vendor but we do have a working GSI so as you can see this is a Q beta 3 and I will not actually waste a lot of time of you guys cause literally it has nothing it has none of the features that Google actually announced yesterday at the IO like the live transcribing then the new gestures and stuff literally it has nothing but here you go here is your quick settings panel again you don't get pixel like UI so it has theming options to be honest in the developer options like in the first beta so again we have that that's why the icons are looking a bit weird also the quick settings panel but let's just take a look so what are the changes over here basically nothing there are a lot of bug fixes and the performance is just mind-blowing to be honest for a budget phone over here this is a snapdragon 675 phone to be honest it's pretty fast when google literally announced yesterday that pixel 3a cost 40,000 rupees and it has snapdragon 670 like what the hell google i thought that phone would be like 20 to 25,000, but that thing cost like a one plus seven so really disappointed over there but over here the performance is quite good to be honest like literally I will just clear out everything through the RAM and if I just uh, tap on any kind of app is like as fast as Oxygen OS like I don't have a lot of photos to be honest but this speed is just amazing even with the normal apps like even with the settings it's just open so quick even with the YouTube it just like the performance is just amazing again I can't actually connect to any kind of protected Wi-Fi that's still to be fixed I do can actually just connect to open Wi-Fi and the YouTube and there are some 3D glitches it could be just vendor related so YouTube actually opens but videos doesn't play then again just going through on the apps and stuff camera does actually work on the Note 7 Pro which is quite good this is Android 10 with GMS but then again just normal AOSP apps there is just not a lot of stuff even if you just talk about the UI there are a bit of optimizations like the performance as I told you before just feels amazing but then again scrolling is also again much like better like the android feels much more flatter and snappier there is a lot of removal of going back and forth in animations but you do get more of it in recent as funnel so for example if i just go over here as you can see the apps just zoomed out over there and they are actually there as you can see in the background if i just clear out as you can see they just go there which is quite good to be honest doesn't lag at all on a snapdragon 600 series phone but then talking about another features like the ui and stuff if you just go to the quick settings panel now you get edit button on the left also you get the build number over here pretty good you also get a complete dark theme yeah dark theme is announced over here and it gets a complete separate toggle for it you can just quickly turn it on and when you officially announce the need of a dark mode then again they are now just copying like MIUI like gestures like swiping on the side for back which I'm actually huge fan of in MIUI but why is just Google copying everything but then again going through more toggles they are just a bit updated there is not a lot of things over here as you can see I have added all of them but going back you do get phone on vibrate on the left like it stays there it just doesn't go away once you toggle it then again your network carrier over here on the right pretty good but let's just go to the settings now there are new additions like if you enable on the accessibility settings that the live transcribing is on even if i just go here and enable captions on it doesn't actually just turn on the live transcribing it doesn't have it only pixel phone have it right now like you will get a newer button if you are playing any kind of video even if you go to the photos i have this chick's live stream over here for some weird reason and nothing just plays like you don't get any kind of new button over here but going through the settings as you can see the icons are a bit updated then again going through apps and notifications if you now go to the notifications notification assistant has been now completely added if i just go here notification assistant as you can see but still the use of it is kind of bogged down over here again this is not a pixel gsi so if you're wondering guys if you want to try out that feature so you have to actually wait for the irfan's unofficial port which is currently still in works it's completely dead as if right now it's been only one day that beta 3 has been released so we have to actually wait for that but if you go to battery and stuff it looks ugly and pretty much nothing added if you go to the display adaptive brightness is completely broken over here nothing like that but many of the features actually feel that they are just copied around the settings like lock screen display why is it here 
There is still no customization officially announced as even MIUI has added it. So I guess it would be coming soon, but yep, you can actually try the CMD commands too. But over oh, here, add users on lock screen. Why is it copied over here? You still get theme option over here. Like this setting applies to apps, but barely applies to anything like even the phone app. It applies to the drawer, but nothing on even the stock apps. These are not Google apps. So pretty disappointed over there, but you do get a pitch black quick settings panel. On Pixel devices, it's actually completely black, I guess, like in Oxygen OS, but let's just go back. If you go down to the security, currently you don't have any kind of security over here, like VPNs are pretty much broken. Then again, there is no fingerprint scanner over here. There is no face unlock. Face unlock can actually work if you install magics, like the canary versions of it. But then again, fingerprint scanner is dead on Redmi Note 7 Pro's vendor. You have to actually fix that separately, but then again, going through accounts and stuff, nothing much. You do get privacy features, which I will not run down coach. It's just permission manager, nothing much. They are yet to add more features over there, but if you go to accessibility, many of the things are just renamed over here, like remove animations and stuff. Then again, going down, you have captions and everything. Still, many of the features are just missing. But if you go to system gestures, no new gestures over here, as you can see, only Pixel phones get that. You only have the nav bar. If you go to advanced Android 10, officially named, you have May security patch, so latest and the greatest. And yes, it does have integration from Play Store that you can directly get security updates from the Play Store, which is pretty great. We have to actually test that. We already have the latest one, but as you can see, there was a bit of a lag. So GPU glitches over there. But if you go to the developer options, again, many of the stuff has been just moved around. But going to the about phone section, Android version 10, mainline software update 10, developer preview 3, and Android 10 easter egg is still the pie easter egg that you get in PQ1A. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the official GSI review of Android 10 Beta 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like. And if you want Pixel GSI, again, stay tuned for that. Share this video with your friends and see you guys in the next one. Peace.